Well, let me see. You're probably wondering what this here is, but I consider myself the sole inventor of this free energy perpetual motion magnetic motor machine. And I'm in the process of drafting it up and I got this here um, idea from watching videos on YouTube and this type of free energy machine could be used in outer space, underwater, on a satellite. <clears throat> it takes no fuel whatsoever. Now some of the people who are building free energy magnet motors they cl on YouTube, which is, you know, they claim that the magnet eventually becomes weak. And, well, they would know, not me, because I'm not exactly new to this field. I tried to build a magnet motor back in the 70s and didn't have much luck with it. I was like made it out of JB Weld and styrofoam, you know, and it was kind of like a big waste of my efforts, but I hit on something here that this could be used to power a flying saucer, generate electricity, submarine airplane propeller. Now, the way that this works is that the magnets or lodestones or whatever you want to call them here in the middle and the magnets on the outside the positive magnet here is attracted to the negative magnet here and the neg negative magnet here is attracted to the positive magnet right here except that this magnet is closer to this one so that it will overcome the resistance from this magnet and this magnet and then you know it will keep on running. Now there are people on the internet who have hooked up to electric motors and stuff like that and use them to generate, hook them to these permanent magnets and use them to generate electricity to light a, a light bulb and there's a lot of stuff going on like that. Okay, now let's see what we need to do here is green, delete my layer, my green layer here, all those guidelines. Anyway, Let's get back to you on that, and we will stop the recording right. Can't you just, just delete it? Let's just delete, delete all these green lines here. And give you a better idea of what we're looking at here. And I'm just freehanding this. I haven't exactly engineered it or anything. It's just, you know, a pencil sketch, more or less. And um, I'm kind of rusty on the CAD. If I was, like, in the, at the school, you know, I could probably hit polar array and, and draw this a lot faster but right now I'm kind of like I just freehanded the whole thing just kind of reckoned it out you know and um, let me see here okay so there's the motor basically Oops, there's another green line right here and I consider myself the sole inventor of this motor. 
I haven't seen anything like it on YouTube or anywhere on the internet. But to make a long story short, let me grab some. Let's get grab some white ink up here. Grab some white to me, and we'll just call this positive side of the magnet right here, and we'll give this one a negatory sign there, and then this end of the magnet here is, of course, be positive, and this one negative, and this end of the magnet here will be a negatory negative, and then the same thing with this one up here is the way that I design it so it's like, you know, more or less timed, you know, but they take a lot of experimentation, you know, to really get this thing to work the way that we want it to. But, um, like that, and so the magnets are about the same thing, you know, this one attracting to this one and then this one repelling from that one, like that. You know, so then, um, not really excited about it. I think that they probably would have just tried to do this years ago. Okay, because art command here, and we're going to make a, let's see, what, 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 escape, art command here, and we'll go like make art here. And then we'll come up down here, and we'll make art here. Oops. Art command. About like that. Give me a line command. And we'll put a little. There. And then. Give me a little airy. You don't want R command, you want Y command. Y command. Atari like that. And so that kind of like, there she is. Right there is, is my motor. Right there. And as I can say, it, can, it doesn't use coal, it doesn't burn oil. You know, um, it's a perpetual motion machine. And if it ever worked, it might not produce very much energy, but you never know. It might produce millions of volts of electricity. Nobody knows. Anyway, Buzzy Boot is out of here.